Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. It's raining, so it's noisy, and uh, got a bucket filling up with water. This is the manhole in my garden. All the water comes into it and goes out that way, and it's all rainwater at the moment, but sewage goes through it as well. On this side, I fitted this double flat valve. It's a non double non-return valve in line, so the water can only go this way and can't come back, because there was one storm where it started surcharging back, and I didn't like that for obvious reasons. I didn't want to come in my cellar. So I think today I'm going to climb down here and open up this one of these two um, non-return valves. But before I do that, I'm going to flush it through. And the reason I'm doing that is because periodically I open up this manhole cover just to take a look. And today, for the first time in years, about seven years since I put in this manhole, or maybe eight, uh, there was tissue, toilet tissue, up around the sides on that shelf there. And that means that at some point it must have backed up a little bit and the tissue got stuck on the sides which isn't cool and then it must have opened up again which is kind of weird so i'm going to now that this pot of water is nearly full i'm going to just pour it straight in there so let's see if i can do it with one hand and not lose the camera and then i'll get to opening up those covers in there. Right, ready, steady. Can't really do this with one hand. Okay, up and in. You see, it's all draining straight in. It's a bit of a backflow there. That's just, that's what I'm kind of thinking is a bit weird. You see the way it's not it's not drained down completely just yet. So that pipe should be empty. There shouldn't be any water in that pipe, but at the moment there's about three or four inches of water in it. And I'm reluctant to do this on a day when it's raining, so I might leave it for another day. It does seem to be flowing away, but it takes the initial surge, but then it, it's slow, so I wonder is there something caught in there? On that right hand side could be once you open it there's no going back although the fact that it's going away means that it's not uh it's not blocked so i think there should, could just be something needs a bit of a clean so on this side then there's two covers i'll do one at a time i think what i can do is i can block the upstream one by flipping over the red handle there and then opening the four screws on the downstream one and seeing what's in there and then once i've got one open i can see the other should be able to see the other flap while I'm in there. So I'll, I'll take off the screws and get to it. Now I'm down here and I've loosened them off with the spanners there and uh, I don't think these have nuts beneath them. If they do, I'll figure that out. So there's one. I've got a 40 mil long stainless steel bolt, which is good because you wouldn't want anything other than stainless in this situation. And I'm wearing my safety Crocs, which are completely air permeable but I am wearing watertight gloves on one hand which is something I haven't been down here in a long time so the four screws are off and it hasn't exploded yet I'm inclined to do it standing up that's it, okay yeah that's not my problem that's, that's downstream's problem look so that's the flapper valve and it's working fine but there's a problem problem on the downstream there i'm wondering if i should push, push a rod in it while i'm here i might take my screws and spanners out and push a rod down it and just give it a clean see if there's something see beyond this point it's a shared sewer and uh, that's not flowing properly so i might have to call the water authority and get them to deal with this it's not my it's not really my problem from here on so once more for good luck i've put the cover back on and put the lower cover back on, screwed it on, put the upper cover back on. It's lower a bit maybe, I tried rotting it but uh, I didn't get much satisfaction. So I'll do this and see what I think. Oh, it's going a lot quicker that time I'd say. So maybe whatever I did dislodged it a bit. You see the way it's flowing, it's flowing out of this pipe because it goes into both pipes at the start and then this one has to flow back. So it's rinsing it out there okay. 
I don't believe it's wipes or anything like that because we don't use them. But uh, if it's something downstream, this is a shared sewer um, downstream with our neighbors. Could be something with them, I don't know, but I don't like it. I don't like it, so I'm gonna call the water authority and get them to sort it out. So as for checking your non-return valves, it's a job you wanna do every once in a while. You wanna keep an eye on these things because you know, they're to some degree they're fit and forget, but if it gets blocked up here, that's fine. If it gets blocked up in your house, you've got a whole other problem. I'd rather, I'd rather see it here first and deal with it out in the garden before it comes back into the house. So, any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching, see you later.